so we are going to look at another experiment uh, the experiment title is a heat transfer study of thermal mass concept here we have different building materials um, so we have different um, materials from the kit here uh, this is the box and these are the different building materials that we have um, which include the glass plain glass uh, the cavity glass the aluminium composite the louvered panels this is the concrete and this is the ceramic tile here uh, additionally we will require the temperature gun and the halogen tube the objective of this experiment is to understand how different materials have different thermal mass now what do we mean by thermal mass so the ability of material to absorb heat to retain heat and to um, transfer heat so is is basically known as thermal mass i'll give you an example what we mean by that is for example take uh, a metal sheet versus a stone now we we would we would understand when we are when heat is passing through a metal it directly lets the heat gets transferred to the other side whereas in terms of stone what it will first do is it will capture the heat it will store the heat and if the heat is uh, if if the heat that is being passed is larger than its heat storage capacity only then he will start dissipating heat to the other side and this this uh, property of stone to hold heat inside it it's called thermal mass uh, and we have different materials with different thermal masses the higher the thermal mass the lesser the um, the heat transfer to the other side and hence we we see even in the ancient structures we have uh, buildings or structures like for example Taj Mahal and, and other forts etc they are made up of strong big stones which even in uh, very hot days don't let the heat pass and we feel cool inside so that is based on the thermal mass concept and here we are going to study the different building materials what are its thermal masses so here we have the box and as you can see in this box if you notice there is a openable uh, slot we have provided and we have to open this this is how the slot needs to be opened um, now the next part here is that we will fix the building material here i am taking the plain glass material i am fixing it here and i will keep it vertically now in, in other experiments we have kept uh, the box is horizontal in, in this one we have to keep it vertical in line of the heat that is being passed we are looking at the procedure of this thermal mass experiment here i have placed the box vertically in front of the uh, the light source or the heat source actually in this case uh, first we will note down the ambient temperature of the surrounding using this lab thermometer here so it is showing me a reading of 24 degrees celsius okay so here i have taken plain glass i am noting down this ambient temperature is 24 degrees the second reading here is called t max what is t max we have to assume t max which is approximately going to be great uh, greater by 5 degrees than the ambient temperature so say if the ambient temperature is coming out to be 24 degrees we have to assume the t max as uh, 29 degrees and t min is going to be same as the ambient temperature which is 24 degrees now to start the readings what we will do is i have a timer here i will sync this timer to the halogen uh, tube once i start the tube i'll start the timer as well and i, I will start taking the readings uh, accordingly so i'm starting this okay now how do i take the readings 
in this experiment we have to just use the temperature gun to take the readings and we have to take the readings from one side and from other side after every 30 seconds till the temperature of the inside surface reaches the value of 29 degrees or T max what we have assumed so it's 30 seconds now outside is 28 so the outside temperature is coming out 28.3 and inside is coming out to be 28.1 so I am waiting for another 30 seconds to lapse for the my next reading so it's it's 30 seconds the next set is 29.2 and 28.7 now the difference between the earlier experiments and this one is that I don't know how many readings I have to take but what I know is I will stop my readings till I, I will not stop taking my readings till I get this temperature uh, here so again another 30 seconds have passed I am taking this reading this is 29.4 and the inside reading is 28.8 I will keep on going on till I, I get a value of 29 here another 30 seconds have passed okay so I've gotten a value of 29.1 from the inside and 29.7 on the outside here I will stop my reading now I've gotten what I wanted now what I'll do is once I have got this reading I will switch off the halogen tube and I will continue to keep taking the readings after every 30 seconds uh, till the temperature falls back to where it was which is the T minimum which is the T ambient so I will again continue to take the readings now another 30 seconds have passed I am taking the outside reading another 30 seconds have passed so here you can see there is a gradual decrease in temperature and I will go on till I get this this value here 